Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, August 6th of 2018. Uh, this is a pill cutter right up here. This is not the pill cutter that I have here. Uh, my daughter went out and purchased this for me because I couldn't find this one. Uh, or couldn't find this one. I made this uh, YouTube video back in uh, 2014 and it's had uh, 50,000 views and I don't know where that pill cutter is but uh, my daughter Hillary went out today and purchased another one same place actually uh, Walgreens down the street about the same price uh, five dollars and uh, no wait a minute uh, this is a different one uh, this is the one that uh, my daughter went down the street and I think she paid about five or six dollars for it at Walgreens and uh, this is one that I, did, I just found on Amazon and they have a ton of them pill cutters a whole bunch of them you can see they are inexpensive and believe me they there are a ton of them. Um, the only time I used the, uh, well, it was probably back in uh, 2014 when I made this video and purchased that at Walgreens. Uh, that's probably about the only time I used it because. Uh, Okay, it says there, so for jogging my memory, but anyway. Um, so I uh, have had some recent illness. I was in the hospital for six days. Got out. I'm still not well. I lost, uh, actually in the hospital, I couldn't eat anything for six days because I was so sick from the antibiotic and uh, the powerful antibiotic they were giving him just terrible I could I went in at about 200 and uh, 40 pounds or a little bit above I came out and I thought sure I would I wasn't eating anything uh, felt like I was gonna vomit for the entire six days and uh, came home two or three weeks ago from the hospital and uh, then I'm sure it was liquid fluid from my legs and what have you I went from 240 plus pounds down to 221 pounds and that's what I'm staying right out and right now is at 221 pounds so uh, the other day I noticed that my blood pressure was really low I, well the way I noticed it, I went into the kitchen and bent over to look in the refrigerator, see if I could find it. I'm still upset, still having the effect of this antibiotic. So looking for something to uh, eat, and I bent over, and I almost fainted. My vision, first time that's ever happened, darkened. You know, the darkness was coming into both eyes. That were That's the way it looked. And I made my way in here, laid down on my bed for a little bit, and then I thought, I think I'm going to check my blood pressure, and I got up, and it um, was really low. Now, it's kind of hard when you tell somebody it was like uh, 115 over 53, then it was 119 over 60, 117 over 60, and uh, later on, 111 over 56. But the heart rate was okay. Uh, so anyway I of course that was a weekend I contacted my doctor and said I wonder if the and I'm taking medicines for a lot of different things I contacted the doctor and said uh, you know since I've lost about 20 pounds uh, do you think possibly that my blood pressure I also have a pacemaker that my blood pressure medication may be 
too strong and should be adjusted. So the doctor asked me for one week to uh, cut my benzacrophil, it's a blood pressure medication, B-E-N-A-Z-E-P-H. Uh, well, let me cover up my number here and I'll just show it to you on the camera. There you go. So it's 20 milligrams. So the doctor said, okay, uh, cut it in half. So I actually tried it once and it worked, by the way. You know, I had to send Hillary to uh, get me. So very simple. Just slides in here like that and uh, then I'm going to looks like it's not centered but it is centered and cut it perfectly in half now that's probably not going to happen with all the pills or you know well that's the only but this is the only one I'm going to be cutting but um, There you go. Uh, let's see, here we go. Now, there are some like capsules. You do not cut capsules. And there are uh, pills also. That's mentioned here in this, uh, somebody right at the top here. I mentioned it, but uh, this coating, pills that have this coating, you should not cut because the coating's on there to make sure that it goes to where it's supposed to go and then it dissolves slowly or whatever it's supposed to do. And uh, I think this one here, the potassium, it says, you know, the strength and what have you, and it says uh, ER capsule. Well, wait, wait a minute, no, these are, okay, I've got two, same. Uh, this says capsule, never mind. So you wouldn't cut cut that. Um, this is a water pill, and it has the scoring right on it. Uh, 40 milligram. So it has the scoring right on it. I'm just going to put it in. and I don't think I'd be able to break it by hand. Let me see if I can line up where the uh, razor blade is. Approximately. Well, yeah. not lined up exactly, but okay, it cut it uh, equally. This uh, old YouTube video, I'll put a link to it, but this. Uh, so you might have the pill cutter, some of them were shattering. It may be the pill, maybe the cutter. So uh, you might, you know, it's, these are inexpensive, you might have to buy. This is an approxin, and I think I could, it scored. I think I could actually maybe break this by hand. Maybe I can't. Yeah. So I wonder if it's going to fit in. Let's see what happens with it. I think it has a coating on it, by the way. Okay, it cut it. So this looks to me like uh, looks like it happened to get a uh, a good one. But like I said, I got this one. No, I didn't get this one. This one I found on. So you may have to try one or two, but they're inexpensive. Uh, let me, if I remember, the, don't be cutting your pills. You know, follow your doc, doctors. <laughs> what is that like? Uh, 
what was that space where there was two alien or the one alien and the other alien was crocodile like Drox or whatever uh, follow your pers you know what your doctor tells you to do what your pharmacist tells you to do what's on the you know the instructions look on the sheet that they give you and, and uh, you know but do what the doctor says don't be cutting your medicate do what your doctor says uh, by the way, if you're watching this video and you've watched some previous videos, so, you know, I was in the hospital for six days and I uh, just got up and told them I was leaving AMA and I left against medical advice. But don't do what I do. You know, follow, uh, you know, listen to your doctor. Um... So this is the uh, pill cutter, easy to use. This one works well, appears to, 100% so far, but I've only used it, what, five or six times. And uh, pay attention to that coating situation. Don't try to cut capsules, of course. Uh, let's see what it says here for, uh, You can see uh, I'm not allowed to do uh, YouTube reviews. I did, I think, I forget how many, 600 reviews, everyone with a uh, uh, video in it, no matter. And uh, they thought that I was too generous to people, to the uh, seller or whatever so I guess because nobody they never Amazon never contacted me uh, they just deleted all my reviews uh, didn't send me any email or tell me they did they deleted them and they didn't give me a reason or and uh, I'm not able to I would like to be able to do a review I a while back I purchased a uh, bed frame for my son and it was a nice one about sixty dollars sturdy easy to snap together so uh, the reason I ended up in the hospital by the way is I had a bed frame in here that was big and it stuck out on both ends because I, th I think it had been designed for it was just a twin but been designed for uh, having a headboard or something on it and I kept banging my, uh, I'd run into it because it was a sharp on the corners. I tried putting duct tape on it, and duct tape would fall off. I tried all kinds of things. And uh, I have diabetes type 2, by the way. I have poor circulation in my legs. I uh, bumped into the bed frame, put a, it wasn't a puncture really, just a scrape. And uh, it became infected, wouldn't really heal, and I tried, you know, various things, and I kept thinking, oh, it'll get better, it's, it's looking better, it's looking better. I'm not even going to tell you how long I went thinking, telling myself, wanting to tell myself that instead of going to my doctor, you know, and then I woke up with a uh, high fever, and then I went to the hospital, took an Uber, when I got there, they looked at my leg or whatever, and they said, you're going to be admitted. And then I said something a couple of times about, you know, they wanted to know, uh, did the ambulance bring in or, you know. I said, no, I took an Uber. You took an Uber? So, stupidity on my part. So, with whatever you're doing, you know, get tetanus shot. Uh, that had nothing to do with it, but get a tetanus shot. Keep your tetanus... I'm probably one of the few people, well, at least if you're in the United States, tetanus shot is for lockjaw. And I just happen, you know, I've, I've talked to medical people, doctors, worked in hospitals for 30 years. They, everybody would come in to the emergency room and they'd say, is your tetanus shot, you know, current? And some people, yes, some people, no. Okay, we need to give you your tetanus shot before you leave. And none of those people, I actually knew a lady who got 
lockjaw and died from it. Uh, when I was like five years old, my parents and I, of course, rented a room from the lady for that year. And uh, Mrs. Hannah and uh, my, we then moved into a house for my first grade on. And uh, my mother kept in touch with Mrs. Hannah over the years, would call her and talk to her and see what was going on. And I think I was an adult by then. Uh, Mrs. Hannah, she had rented out rooms and maybe done, did some other things to, uh, you know, make a living. Uh, she started, I don't know what point, uh, raising worms to sell to fishermen. And uh, apparently had a cut or something on her hand and got lockjaw and died in the hospital. So get your tetanus shot. Uh, so I'll put a link to a few of these, but like I said, I, the this one and the one from the video were both just right down the street. We have a Walgreens here. If you're in the United States, Walgreens, CVS, I'm sure they all sell them in there all, as it should be. I mean, you know, inexpensive. Uh, I welcome your comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching.